hello and welcome to the lecture so let's continue with the one more thing that's about the web service and that's already was available before in in the previous version of oracle apex and now it's made as you know legacy references and you do some some might have using it now and this is you know oracle is not much supporting this but still there are apis here that can you know uh, make use of this web service and you can use this as a you know making a rest request for through programming that's through PL SQL. so going here the apex web service that is you know that makes here as a list of uh, functions and procedures and you can see this uh, you know apex uh, underscore web service api you can uh, get the information what you want through the response as a you know json or whatever the response where you can parse it as well and if you want to make a request we have this you know function that highlights this and this calls that uh, methods here and you can pass the url and the http method which is get post and so and so and the authentication thing and and we do have some body things uh, for the post request where we fill in the params and the values and yeah so this is about the rest request and you can parse the response as well so this is about that and we can take in one example here by creating in oracle apex and before that i just want to give something on the headers as well so for setting the headers which we saw earlier by using the authorization we can use this the api which is called g underscore request headers it uses a sequence like an array and with the thing like name that will locks up the key value and the value thing what corresponds there so we just jump into one example here and make use of that so we'll just create one you know a page item where we can you know request some data so I go to the postman here you can see that i'm using a api which is uh, fetching me countries and this is limited to five and it fetches me five countries here and we'll make use of this uh, an api and we'll create a page item so going to this you know region and i'll create a page item that i can say as you know countries so I'll select as uh, select list that would be a good example and it will be fetching me this you know this data in the form of a select list so it should be you know some kind of a PLC called API that consumes this thing this apex web service and yeah so we have to make this option so we need to use the PLC equal right we can't use the top three so the last one that's a function body returning sql curry so we have to write in the form of you know a written statement that uh, supports the dr column system with the form of an sql curry so suppose if you are familiar i'm just giving an example and select so like 1d and some two return from dual and that will take me with the display value as one and return value as two so this is valid now and if you can confirm here and i'm saving it so if i can see this in the page two yeah this is the one so i can see that i'm just making it to one that is the display value and at the return value will be the two when you're using this in the process or any dynamic action so this is the example here and we'll make use of the apex web service so i have an example already written here so let me copy this and explain and going to here and i'm pasting it so what this does was you know i'm declaring the uh, club object and because the apex web service will be returning me the club here so that's the thing so here before uh, making the request i'm just setting the headers here so the headers uh, you know this is like an array here so the sequence for the first one with a name and that will be the key here 
and the sequence the same sequence of the name with the value thing that would be the uh, that key which is unique to the account and this would um, set the headers and in making the API request you would be getting this in the form of JSON that is in the form of a large character and those things are stored here and here we are using the JSON table function that would accept the, the large JSON response uh, which we fetched and this here we are just querying here so as you know that we are having an array of objects and that starts with the data array and that with the data object we are trying to fetch all the things that max the star and with the columns we are just you know uh, making the column name as the name and the code so the name corresponds to the path with the dollar dot name so this is the name here the country name and here we'll get that in this you know the name column and the code here for the corresponding thing we'll get it in the code column so the display value would be name here and the return value would be code so this will fetch me the you know this objects uh, to a table structure and that will return me this select statement because this supports a function body returning SQL query in PL SQL. So this will fetch me that in the form of a table and I can consume it. Yeah, that's fine. So it's validating fine here. And even we don't want this null value to be added at the initial thing. So I'm saving it and let's see. I'm refreshing it. So here we are getting the response here from the API. So the five countries, the random countries, which you can see here from the name are all listed here in this select list. So if you have uh, something from API, if you want to consume it or Oracle Apex, and that will be varying much depending on the latest changes. So you can you make use of this with the Apex web service.